Howdy folks, it is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Space Shipbreaker, where, got a message here, some some of firmware add-on for the cross-spectrum scanner to, to analyze and assess electrical fuel, and okay, I think we, I think we already have this. Not gonna worry about it. We've unlocked dealing with radiation. Apparently different radiation than the one that blew up in our face two ships ago. Uh, let's see. I need more stickers on this one. I don't know which one's the new one, though. Uh, I can upgrade you. Oh, uh, yeah, the Atlas. There we go. And let's look at the equipment upgrades, see what we got. Cooldown three on the laser. No more heat capacity though. I feel like the range is actually a mistake on that one. Charge push force, that's pretty good. You gotta get the charge push force. It's just good. Get the thruster durability up. Because I think it's about to break anyway. So let's go ahead and pop one. Alright. Let's don't know if we're going to have training for this or not. Oh yeah, no training. Because, uh... How's the pud? We need a piston. Might do this. Javelin heavy cargo. Oh my god. 30 million. Those ship has to be gigantic. <laughs> Seeing we have like a smaller ship to get a piston from. I don't really want to do another Atlas though. I might be able to get through this one really quick. It'll give us the message about, oh, it's too easy for you. Might even do a, a mackerel. I'm curious if we could get this done in one day or two days. I don't think I could get it done in one, but pretty sure I could get it done in two, and that would be pretty big money. Huh, they didn't tell us about that one being too easy. Maybe it has the radiation thing on it. I didn't really check. I just know I want the piston. Probably pressurized. Yeah. Partially. Partially is always worse than... Speed run. Speed run cuts. Definitely a reactor in there. And strats. Okay, there might be fuel in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's not even going to be that simple, even for a mackerel. Interesting. I wasn't expecting them to put in fuel lines and stuff. external hole that is uh, unpressurized. Airlock depressurizing. Depressurized being the proper term. So let's get in this bad boy. 
It's probably really cramped in here. Because it seems like they tried to cramp all the systems into this thing. Okay. Fuel tanks right in the front of me. <laughs> Should probably try to collect all the little things that we can first. Because they're probably going to get sent. So I depressurize something. All due respect to the commission's chair folk, it has been disappointing for many of us average solar citizens yes. to feel like the Stellar Commission has lived up to its promises. After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, many looked to the commission to provide further protections for human labor across the system. But continuing with in here, the commission man. seemed outperformed by the more nimble corporations. Who were untethered by the bureaucratic process which the commission there a fuel switch in here? to observe and follow. As much as we all understand the appeal of following dry rules and protocol, huh, when it comes to protecting real human lives, perhaps a more practical approach is in order. With Jupiter Gate established, we find ourselves again in a position of corporate dominance at the forefront of human progress which threatens once more to be the defining factor in the lives of so many hopeful people. We must not allow this to happen again. We require leadership from the commission. Leadership which isn't fueled by profit, but rather by human respect and excellence. Yo, it's all connected. And maybe oh, nice. Future, okay. That's great. can put more emphasis on the fostering of collaborative, proactive efforts, rather than reactively scrambling in the wake of ruthless corporate juggernauts. Uh oh, don't want to do that. Eh, we should probably use this mode, huh? Okay, we got the whole ship to pressurize. It actually worked for once. And yeah, I'm very, very scared about the fuel lines, though. Hydroponics off. Kind of neat that there's hydroponics and stuff. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could get the ship done in just two days. Because it represent like a pretty good turnaround time and make it worth like as much as a bigger ship, you know? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Yeah, just kind of swing things to eat them. Sort of. Depends on if I'm grabbing them from far away or not. I can kind of eat them. Which is kind of cool. Just freaking send them, brother. It'd be easy to miss, though. Oh, hello. Let's uh, do you a little bit more carefully here. You're a bit of a delicate little flower. to do this flick is nice it only works on the really light things because everything else kind of makes it so we have to share our gravity with each other basically 
Let's see, patch kit, hydroponics cabinet. Got our piston, which was the main thing. That thing got a little zappy. What the hell? Why did it get so zappy? I guess too much stuff was still plugged in. Airlock can consoles worth more than most of the bits. <laughs> that yeet is that yeet's good. My suit damage, or is there some kind of so the reactor must supposed to be in the wall somewhere. Hope it's not melting down. And <laughs> I don't know. And I can't see it melting down, yeah. Shouldn't be, but you never know, man. Definitely get this thing done in two days. We got five minutes on this shift alone. I've already got the ship cracked in half and the top and bottom panels out. Most of the little things taken care of. There's some coolant and stuff to deal with. Oxygen in the ship. Fuel. So we get oxygen. I think once we can unlock the max level oxygen, that's where we pop a bunch of points just on the oxygen stuff. I don't think the next two tiers will help us though. Just no point, you know? I mean, we gotta find the fuel switch. All the fuel lines are full of crap. Where the fuel switch is, though. It's usually in the back. But... I looked. I didn't see it. It's a power junction box. I'm gonna save that for last year, because the last one started electrifying things. Coolant tank. And you know what? Let's get the side panels off here. Like working on a computer case. Gotta get the side panels off first. Oh, uh, geez. I don't like that cut. Kind of buried back here. Do the good old manual push here. Hook me easily and uh, send me to the shadow room. 
More, the scary one. Seventy-five percent durability. I don't worry about that level. All right, should be able to pull you now. Some red lights in there. I don't think they'll matter though. Right, you should be all furnace. Difficult cut. That's still difficult, even though we've had the ship forever. <laughs> the earliest ship design we had, and I still don't know a good way to do this. <laughs> this particular cut. You got sixty ticks till this turkey's done, Cutter. Gobble gobble. <laughs> Material deposited. Object process. Transferring credit. That's fine. Got most of the glass that I could get. Oh, that, I was holding the glass. That's why it said furnace. <laughs> no, no, no. Panel's worth more. Ah, oh, geez, Rick. <laughs> Better use the precision laser. I gotta be careful there. I could hit one of these fuel lines. And then if the fuel line explodes, then it'll blow up the reactor, and then we die. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do the ship and the ship in two shifts. Two very similar sounding words like kitty. No, no. No, no. Watch me, Alan. Back to bed. Watch me, Alan. Oh, forgot that the loading screen is not. Morning, doesn't do itself. You gotta click it and then check those. Call. It's fine. Should have a data miner here. Damn, my inner. Issue 18, administrators. I think 12 of our members who shared reports of administrative activities and give us a better picture of the situation across stations. As administrators have gone unchecked without the ability for workers to report misconduct, the union has seen unsafe and unfair conditions arising in many stations. We're particularly concerned at the sudden loss of contact with some of our members. We're still waiting for more info, but the suspect is that Lynx is wrongfully terminating employment. I want you all to know that we're still here. Unionization is right. We'll continue to fight for your voice. Hope is action. Solidarity is strength. Manipulator on. Um. Heat sink. Found in data banks. Past halfway on that now. Fifty five. Cool down. Let's go again. Get that. We got some cuts to do today anyway. Oops, not where I wanted to go. Start our shift. All right. 
would love to get this ship done in one day. I don't know if we can get it done. I would love to, though. Speed run. Deposit accepted for processing. All right, we got to try to find a fuel switch, though, because I don't... There it is. Okay. I was gonna say, should be some somewhere. Let's get these nacelles out too. Bet there's one on each side though, right? Yeah. I squeeze under you. Kind of. <laughs> holding this thing next to the fuel tanks. There. All right, big money, big money, big money. Don't get stuck, brother. Oh, geez, dude, don't get stuck. All right. Warning, fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Okay. Ooh, geez, that thing deflected towards the fuel tank. I always hate that. I guess these fuel line pieces need cut. Kind of lame. Uh. Team right. Jeez, okay. That's going to take too long. around the reactor, man. Let's get some of these walls off, then everything else will kind of take care of itself. And these go in the processor, too. It's kind of kind of lame that they're load-bearing cut points. reactor out of here. Scares me. Processing object. Applying credit eh, to cares about light. No big deal. Reactored on, son. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. I think there's fuel in the main hallway of the ship, so I can use that to refuel. Not too worried about that. spot. Ah, oh, jeez. I got in a groove there. And my headset's uh, complaining that it's out of power, even though i only been playing for like an hour and a half here, so it's very sad, Panda. I'm gonna pause the game and video, actually, to deal with it. I am back and didn't realize we could check our ship doctor on this screen. I thought you just had to remember. <laughs> that makes sense. You can check it somewhere. Okay. Uh, 
All right, let's sell. Let's get you in the barge. Nope, don't knock me. Salvage deposit accepted. Don't knock me, bro. I wish it would tell you that if there's like juice in there. I think that's what the sound system is for. You can hear if like fuel is flowing and stuff. So I'd probably get that upgraded at this point. I want to know what to do though. if Because <laughs> I pulled the, both of the fuel levers. So if it still was a problem. Kind of toasted. Okay. Don't bump that. Pretty sure there's still fuel in the fuel tanks, though. I must put the light in the processor again. Surprised that you're not attached, really. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Object process. Transferring credit. All right. To the other side. Sure, this de airlock's depressurized. Gotta be careful to not hit the fuel tank, though. And see, stuff like this is why I don't want to upgrade the range of the horizontal and horizontal and vertical cutter. Like, I need to cut this thing with the other cutter because this one takes way too long to do it. Ooh. Okay, that was a little scary. I think we're okay though. Ugh. We go processor piece. I am stuck. What the hell's going on? I'm stuck in the. I'm stuck in the plate. Whoa, Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty. What the hell? Damn, it hit me hard. The fuck? <laughs> it's more scary than anything. I think that was how that was supposed to work, but say so, game. I mean, it's, uh, you see where it was cutting, like, nowhere near where I was aiming? It's a little scary. Oxygen. Is there a shoot patch kit in there? I think there is. There's some kind of... There it is. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. That's what the doctor ordered. Man, if I hadn't been buying armor upgrades, that would have killed me. Hit me that hard. It's weird. I mean, so. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to be in an awkward spot when it comes to, like, how long this ship has left. Salvage 
I say start taking some more risks here. I don't really want to though, because we just saw what happens. run a little bit here because I don't want to have to do another day on this ship. It's kind of our whole goal here. Oh, geez. Getting these things are scary. section is a little scary though. air filters need I don't know if I can get the ship done broke what you piece that's how you remove these things I know it is so I didn't cut high enough or something on it furnace furnace my god man is this even going to work now? Bitch. One minute left, Carter. If you got something cooking, now's the time to plate it and bring it to the table. And I got a lot cooking, unfortunately. A lot more than I expected to have. Losing it, man. Uh, so what happens if I pull these fuel tanks out? I don't know. Ah. 
Might be one of the first days or the first ships where there's so little value left in the ship, but uh, I don't like leaving things undone either. Because a day is only worth 500,000. That's why I was like, we gotta get this done in two days instead of three. Yeah, that's a lot of tokens, and I guess we gotta do it. As long as it's not worth less, I guess. It's just kind of a waste of a day, but oh well. Good morning, ship breaker. I tried to go as fast as I could. 12 nacelles, salvage 9.5 million credits from two unique mackerels. Okay, we're all out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.